So obstructive apnea is the narrowing of the airway, and it's typically the upper airway. And when that happens is you're not getting good flow of oxygen from your mouth into your lungs and then to your heart and your other vital organs. And that can obviously put a lot of stress on your heart. The lack of oxygen can cause disruption with your sleep as well because your brain waves are being disrupted when that's happening. So many people with sleep apnea, again, report that they may be suffering from feeling tired, not feeling refreshed when they wake up, feeling sleepy. And that all comes down to that disruption in their sleep from those breathing events. And the medical consequences that have been linked to untreated sleep apnea can range from heart disease, heart failure, arrhythmias, strokes, diabetes, worsening obesity. So CPAP stands for continuous positive air pressure. Um, and what it does, it blows in air in the, in the windpipe so it doesn't collapse. So it kind of splints the airway open. And that's what treats the hypopneas or apneas or the, air, the narrowing of the airway. If you're noticing in terms of the way you're performing, in terms of memory or cogni cognition, in terms of doing your work, or if your family members are noticing that you're having mood swings, or they say that you know, you're not acting right or something, something's wrong, then I think that's when it's probably a good idea to seek some kind of medical care at that point.